What's up guys, Kid Vegito here today to show you how to make a poncho in Cinema 4D using a feature of cloth inside of it. Um, this is a very easy thing to do in cinema. You can make capes and other cloth-like material using this method. So let's get started. Open up Cinema 4D and load in uh, whatever you want to use to put the cloth on. I'm going to be using a clone trooper model, so let me load that up real quick. Also guys, if you aren't in a art discord, make sure you check out the link below. Um, there is a discord chat full of Roblox artists. It'd be cool if you could join, um, we're really trying to help it grow. So yeah, make sure you check that out. All right. So make sure you uh, position your character however you want it. I'm going to have it kind of like in a, I don't know, victorious look. Like he's victorious all the time. He's proud of himself. So yeah. Let me do this real quick. It shouldn't take long at all. Also guys, I hear some people want a tutorial on like positioning. I don't know how to really do a tutorial on that because it's not really something I can explain that well. I mean, other than just moving stuff with these things and rotating. I mean, it's kind of weird to explain it because it was just so natural for me. I never wondered how for it, so yeah. But if you guys want a positioning tutorial, just uh, let me know and I'll make it. Alright, so this is uh, the look I'll be choosing for the guy. Hold on. Alright, now for the cloth. <clears throat> First thing you need to do is make sure that your body parts are cloth collidables, meaning that if we put a cloth over it and like had it blow wherever, we don't want it to go straight to the character. We want it to hit the character and like interact with it. So let's do that simply by clicking on whatever object that's that's going to hit the cloth and over here in your objects right click on it and uh, <clears throat> go to simulation tags and choose cloth collider do that same process for I don't know whatever else it's going to hit so I'm going to do it on the arms body not the legs because my plane is not going to hit the legs at all barely so I won't mess with that so yeah simulation cloth collider <clears throat> alright now for the next step let's go ahead and grab our plane and let's move it up some Make sure it's above the shoulders if you're using a character. So let's say you're using a pole, you just want it to like... Hmm, let me see something. Yeah, if you're using like just a regular cube or anything, you want it to hit that. Just uh, rotate your plane 90 degrees. Just hold shift and click on the rotate axis and rotate it 90. Anyway, but I'm using a character right now, so I'm going to stick to using that. Now, yes, make sure your plane is above the shoulders. Next part is to click on your plane and press C. This will make it editable so it won't stay in plane form the whole time. If it stays in the plane form, then it won't interact with the cloth feature. Alright, next thing to do is to go into simulate, go into cloth, and choose cloth surface. 
go into plane and put the plane under the cloud surface. Now, in the plane, right click, go to simulation tags, and choose cloth. This will be where you like kind of interact with where the cloth will go down from the gravity, the wind, you know, a bunch of stuff, man. You can uh, do a lot with this. It's pretty uh, operational, you know. So yeah. Next thing in your wind strength, change it to about ten. I'll oh, change it to five. Put your wind strength at five. Make sure forces is selected so you can get this stuff over here when your cloth tag is selected. All right, and see where it says wind direction Y, change that to negative one. If it's positive one, it will go up. If it's negative one, it will go down. Same thing with the X and Z. If you, uh, if you drag it this way, hold on, let me see something. But yeah, you know what I mean negative Z or negative X Z and X all right next part is to hmm, I think that's it right there next part is to just go ahead and press play oh wait gotta go back gotta go back your helmet you can actually delete the uh, the cloth tag just make sure you drag it up so that uh, the cloth tag won't really in it. The cloth itself or whatever you're using won't interfere and it won't have some kind of weird look. Unless you want it to kind of have like have it bundled up around his neck like if he is in the snow or something but yeah I don't want it to be that way. I want it to be like a 100% poncho so yeah. Anyway, once you do this, go ahead and press play again. And boom, we have our cloth. Now, if you wanted to go more to the right or to the left, like I said, go into the tag itself, cloth tag, and change and play around with your directions of the X's and the Z's. I'm going to change my X to about, well, to one, actually. Put my wind strength at about 10 and I'm going to press play again. Hmm. Looks nice. Put my Z at negative one and see what I get. my X at negative one and see what I get there I want to just turn the X to zero it changed the wind strength to 30 well I'm actually liking that All right, so yeah after you can get your result that you want Go ahead and uh, drag your helmet back down to the correct position that it was in And as you can see that looks fantastic Now let's say you want to texture your cloth just um Go to Google and just Google something. I chose a black and white texture to match the stormtrooper, so yeah, black and white texture. I spelled white wrong. Let's see, uh, what did I pick up? Well, you know what I mean. Just go ahead and find whatever texture you want to use to match your character or whatever. Anyway, so once you get it, go ahead and create, grab a new material, 
double click on the material, go to color, go to your texture right here, and click on the three dots, and find your texture, and boom. Go to editor, and default, go to no scaling, and that's if your texture is blurry. And the editor, it will have nothing to do with your results in the render. Looks overstretched. Now if your texture kind of looks stretched out like this, just go over here into your texture tag, choose seamless, and change the UV mapping to cubic. Hmm. I'm going to lower my tiles to zero. Zero by zero. Oh, oh yeah. I'm going to keep it how it is actually. Now I'm going to render it. Like I said, uh, if you want like good render settings, go into your effect, choose ambient, and choose global illumination. And that's how you make your cloth cape or whatever you're aiming for. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe if this is your first time coming across this channel. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Also, again, if you aren't in a GFX community discord, check out the one I have in the link in the description. It's very good. It's a lot of people there. It's very nice. You can post whatever you, whatever work you want, and I will give it. I will give feedback to it. I will give critic. Um, I will tell you how to get better and everything. Just uh, yeah, make sure you join it. And uh, yep, have a good time, people. Bye bye.